take a deep breath. Cause this is this is this is something that's been I've been I've been dreading this moment. <laughs> Cause I knew the result was gonna be something to the effect. So all you are aware of the incredible, amazing track that Jeff Meldrum has, that beautiful, uh, amazing Sasquatch track. He walks around, he's very proud of, he sells them. It's uh, an excellent example of an amazing, fully grown male, awesome Sasquatch. And it's approximately 17 inches, which is enormous, it's beastly, it's huge. So out here, my Sasquatch, I named Seeger, is an absolute beast. He's huge. He's thick. I've seen him many times. I have him, uh, I have him measured at about between nine foot two and nine foot four. He's right in that area, but I've always been afraid to measure his footprint because he's so damn big. Like he's just enormous and I didn't want it to be this way, but I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to show you. So on my last year's expedition, uh, with Jason, I'm out with Jason right now. There he is. This, he forced me to do it. He's out here. He's going to measure the track size. And, and what happened was it was last year on his expedition that we didn't precipitate much other than I heard a boom. And on the next expedition, I came out here and found this incredible, this track is so sick. This track is like nobody who's been out here. Like I discovered this with Craig and Logan. Like you, is there any, like, do you even in any, like, what percentage do you think that track is a legitimate Sasquatch track? Oh, it's an incredible Sasquatch track. <laughs> I mean, it's really. amazing. It's so deep. It's so big. And, and what it is, is make sure you understand this. Boom. He did that on purpose. Like, this is deep. He literally smashed his foot into the ground, and I heard it. And actually, that's not true, because he didn't hear it. I felt it. Like, your, your nose hairs wiggle, your ear hairs, boom. It's like similar to that Jurassic Park sound, but imagine no audio, just bass. Survivor Man talked about it. I feel the hairs in my body. And, and I knew the direction it was, came over and found it. It's a year old, over a year old, because you were here in August last year. So like a year and a month, literally old. And my friend here is going to measure it and show you what's going to terrify me. Because this is, this is the truth of how big Seeger. Tape measure, please. Let's be very authentic. So here, here's the track. So, I mean, my, my God, there's a heel. This is like inches under the ground. And you might not know this, but Craig right beside here, can you see that Craig's stomping his foot? I can't see that. Nothing. There's no evidence of any human being stomping his foot. Like Craig was showing how hard, how powerful you'd have to jam your foot. You can see nothing. And Craig did this, you know, a month after this track was, was out. This is still here a year later. And my friend is going to measure from big toe to heel. Oh my God. Let's, let's be really honest, dude. Like that's like, so the end of that, we're seeing a good, oof, that's at least 18 inches. Yeah. It's between 18 and 19. Even, <clears throat> I, mean, right. I mean, right. 18 to be, is, is I think fair. Oh my God. I got to come cast this string. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Like next time out, like I'm coming back next week. I'm going to cast this. We'll get you a yeah. copy. This is going to be my new track. Like yeah. this is ridiculous. Let's get the width <clears throat> at the toes. At the toe, the width is nine. Oh, that's nine and a half. Nine and a half. Yeah. So nine and a half at the toes. Like, <laughs> and look how deep that is too. Oh right? my God. Like that compression. Like that's look, see his hand. Look how deep that goes. Like show us where the ground is. Pull your hand up to the ground level. Uh, ground level's here. Yeah. So ground level's across like that. Then put your hand all the way across the track. Ground level. Like, look at that. That you just uh, like, there's no, <laughs> that is so amazing. So amazing. So it's out, ladies and gentlemen. That's that's power. That's size. So Seeger is, I'd say, approximately nine foot three, plus or minus one inch. So nine foot three, and he's like nor. I think I think the normal big Sasquatch is around like nine hundred pounds. He's bigger. He's a monster. And you know what? He's the second biggest Sasquatch I've seen around here. There's a guy in his troop. When you watch video six. That Sasquatch was his back to me. That guy is nine foot six, plus or minus an inch.
So he's bigger. He's taller than Seeger. But I'll tell you, Seeger's a little, th a little thicker. I think they probably weigh about the same weight. But as, we, as we've learned from like uh, professional athletes and UFC fighters, bigger doesn't mean tougher, doesn't mean faster, doesn't mean stronger, does it? Strongest men in the world are not necessarily giants and big. And I believe Seeger has that perfect equilibrium balance between power, size, and strength to be the dominant male. And up here in the Great White North in Canada, this so the Washington track that Jeff Meldrum has is a 17-inch approximately. And we have an extra inch on that amazing Jeff Meldrum track. Wow. Whole extra inch. And that, that, ladies and gentlemen, is like you're talking the difference between, you know, in a human being, that's a whole two sizes up. You know, that's wow. big. Like if you're walking around with a 12, inch, with a 12 size 12 shoe and someone has a 14 size shoe, he's bigger. He's way bigger. Right. So mind blowing. And then let's go beside because I believe, <clears throat> so we just discovered this, but Jason and I, I believe his little boy was here. So this is also a track, not nearly as deep though, is it? No, not nearly as deep. Not nearly as deep, but, but I bet you. Most likely, Seeger and his, his, his son bang their feet at the same time. And that's a big track. But that's, you know, I'd say 13. Yeah, 13 is spare. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. 13 inch and then the width, please. This way. So you're saying roughly six. Yeah. Agreed. So that's a, you know, that's a big foot. But, uh, <laughs> and no coincidence that the boom... Is happening right here, side by side, father and son. Wow. So, uh, I probably wouldn't have heard it if it was just the the son. I heard, I guarantee it was Seeger. Like that was just. Can you imagine? Wow. Like wow. And you were totally there for that, dude. Oh yeah. Totally sure. there for that. That is impressive. And 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 you 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 did you you said you felt a boom. I did. Uh, yesterday. I want to hear about that, please. Yeah, okay. yesterday when we were out in uh, at the end of Larch Trail. Mm -hmm. In that beautiful meadow where we hung out, we we sort of hunkered down for a couple hours. Yeah. And at a inner work. Inner work. Yeah. At a certain point there, I heard that I heard a boom that reverberated mm -hmm. just coming down from like elk trail. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was nice. Yeah. First time I've ever heard a significant boom like that. So down from the elk trail. Yeah. I on my next expedition, <laughs> my friends. <laughs> A hundred percent and going down the elk trail. Nice. This Looking might be it. this might be your number two that I find Seeger's track, Seeger calling, Seeger leaving that message. Because mm. the Sasquatch call themselves the boom. Boom. That's how they identify themselves. The, the, to identify to me, they would do the red tail hawk sound that I do and then make the boom. So when eventually when they get names for everybody else, like even even he, he does uh sh a shawarma? A screamer. A screamer sticks really fast so he comes out here practices that they'll call him they'll make the sound they'll go boom and that's boom is here that's how they communicate brilliant amazing fantastic incredible beings man you get out here and you have this kind of success and you see what's going on out here it just, it's change it's life-changing isn't it absolutely yeah life-changing and it's not just about a discovery of a, of a new primate guys it's inner work it's spiritual connection it's getting connected to nature it's understanding how brilliant and amazing these magnificent beings are he's blown away by this because he's seen all the evidence they've been around him he's seen the shadows of them now they've taken apples from him it's it's really sinking into his mind the reality and the amazement of these this, these incredible beings to get that interaction to get that closeness you've got to work not just outside but within you have to be clean they're empathic and uh it changes you in a beautiful beautiful way i would i would be honored to have anybody else start working this inner work clean yourself become more empathic open up your mind to sabe as the natives here call them a being of honesty and integrity want to go that way I do, he does, all my tribe feels that vibe to go towards honesty, goodness, justice, integrity. And that's what this discovery is really about. Amazing, get excited guys. It's happening right here, right now. I'm thrilled. Woo!